Right, everyone, welcome back to episode number four of Charlie's vlog. And I just thought I'd start off at the beginning of this video explaining a few bits and bobs. Um, so today I'm going to be covering a little bit more of hunting, which I think I did two videos ago. Now that was filmed probably three weeks plus ago, so a lot has changed since then. Now I do tend to work at quite a fast pace sometimes, and sometimes I don't even realize I'm teaching stuff to the dog. So there might be bits sometimes that seem like they're missing or I haven't covered. I'm not doing that deliberately. It's just that sometimes, as I said, I work at such a fast rate that I don't even realize that I'm doing stuff. And then people will ask me questions later on, how did you do that? It is a vlog about my experience of training him and every dog is slightly different. So when I'm training different dogs, I might have to do a completely different collection of actions and uh, processes to achieve the same objective with a different dog uh, than what I am with Charlie. So I'm more or less documenting what I am doing with Charlie. So I hope you enjoy this. We're gonna start off with some hunting today. Uh, and then I'm also gonna do some uh, more, slightly more advanced retrieve work. So my training is broken into two parts now. I've got my hunt training, which is through a retrieve to find the retrieve. And I'm also doing uh, handling training, which is straight sends, back retrieves, lefts and rights, some bits of marking and some hunt whistle. Anyway, hope you enjoy guys. Right guys, so quickly before I get Charlie out and start doing a bit of hunting, you can see the part, piece of woodland I've got here. For me, filming this is much harder um, than it is doing retrieving because I normally cover quite a bit of ground and getting that on camera with a static tripod is a lot more difficult. So I'm gonna do my best. Now, a few things that I do at the beginning of this session. So I've got my training bag on here. Now in here, I've got one of, uh, one of my little dummies that has a line attached on it. And before I get him out and uh, start training with him, I drag this around on the ground in front of me. So a bit like what I'm doing here, basically. And I'll do this all over this space. That means I'm putting a bit of scent down here ready for him right at the very beginning. I've also got two other dummies with me. I've got a rabbit skin tennis ball, which is great because I'm wanting to roll scent across the ground. I'm trying to get him to hump using his nose and I'm trying to get him to use ground scent rather than air scent. For example, if I'm hunting into the wind, he'll often air scent it before he ground scents it. So if I've got the wind coming this way, I'm trying not to come directly into the wind so that he's using that ground scent. And a ball is great for that because you can roll it and it goes along the ground and leaves the scent trail behind it. The other retrieve that I've got on me is also one of my just little 30 gram dummies, which I also roll up sometimes to make a ball. Or if I just want to get a retrieve down to, to find, that's what I then use. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that. I'm going to go get him now, put a bit of scent down. He was brilliant yesterday in the rain, but I couldn't film it because my camera would have stopped working. It's a bit warmer today, so I'm not quite so sure how, whether he'll go so well, but we'll give it a go. Right, so hopefully you can see me here in the distance. He's a bit lethargic, so he's probably not going to go. Sod's law when you get the camera out, they never go as well as they do when you're normally hunting them, but I'm probably just going to give him a couple of little retrieves just to get him going first. So here we go, Charlie, Charlie. That's the hump whistle. And when any time he hears that sound, he's allowed to try and pick the retrieve or try and find it. So I'm going to do that again. All the time he hears that, he's allowed to try and pick it. So I'm going to stand up, try and get him to sit. Sit, Charlie. Ready? Come on in. Come on in. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad, where's he going, where's he going, where's he going, where's he going? Good lad, good lad. So one of the things you'll see me doing a lot here is pipping and pointing at my toes. I'm trying to keep the dog in front of me. I'm trying to balance that out with also not getting the dog to look at me too much. Wants a pee, that's a good start, isn't it? Good girl, where's he, where's he, where's he, where's he? Good lad, good lad, good lad. Quick rub there with my hand. When I do a rub, I'm trying to transfer scent from the dummy onto the floor so that when I pip the dog to my hand, the dog has a good experience at my fingertips, which encourages the dog to come to my hand when I pip. Good lad. Go on, go easy. Now the key we're rolling the ball is that he does not see you do it. Good lad, good lad. Good lad, good lad, good lad. Now today, Although it's not wet, which is nice, there's very little wind, which isn't so good for us. 
and he's a bit full of food. So he's not going as well as he did yesterday. He was flying yesterday when we did this. So I'm going to sit him up. Sit. Now one of the things he mustn't see me do is ever roll or throw this ball. Otherwise he'll stop hunting and start looking at me. If you've ever handled a ball too much in front of a dog, they start looking at you, which is great, but then they don't get on and hunt. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pick some leaf litter up. Sit, Charlie, sit. Rub the leaf litter on. Whistles in my mouth, ready to go. I'm going to chuck this down. Sit. And then cast them onto it. Here, good lad. Here, here. And distract him. Good lad, where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Good lad. Now I've thrown it there. See if you can get the scent of it. Good lad, good lad. Yeah, good lad, he's onto that now. Good lad. Here, yeah. good lad, good lad. Good lad. Good lad, good lad. Good lad. He scented that. Yeah, good boy, good boy. The wind's actually changed direction today. So recently, our wind has always been coming from this way. It's now coming, feel it here. So it makes me change what I've got to do. I wasn't aware of that when I started, but it's my own fault. Sit. So, Charlie, Charlie. See what I mean? He's still very soft. Sit. So I'm going to rub the leaf litter in. I'm going to throw the leaf litter down as a mark with some scent on it. I'm then going to try and get him to hunt for it. Sit. Sit. Hunt whistle. Go on. Good luck. Where's he going? 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 Whizzy, whizzy. He didn't see me do that. Now he's on that scent, you see? Ah! Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. So he's very quick onto that. Now you probably lost me around the tree there then. <laughs> he's very, very quick onto that. Because there's a bit of breeze coming through here now. Charlie, 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 Charlie. As soon as he scented it, sit. What I'm trying to do is get the ball to roll along the ground. That leaves a scent trail. The only thing is there's a scent trail, but the wind's coming in the same direction, so he's probably tended to slightly more air scent it, which I don't want him to do so much. Sit. Sit. He's not quite steady enough for me to sit. Say sit and lean over at the moment. Right, Charlie, Charlie. Sit. Go on in. Good lad. Where's he going? 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 Good lad. Good lad. Good lad, good lad, good lad, good lad. Where's he? Where's he? Where's he? Now, oh, good boy, good boy. So he was hunting the side wind on that, which is why he didn't run straight to it, which is good. Many he had to work harder to find it. Sometimes I pull him off it before he's got a chance to get it. That's if he hasn't seen it. And that's because I need to be able to prove I can call him off it as well as just let him hunt onto it. So I'm going to pick him up because this is probably quite a good view here. So the other thing that I'll do sometimes with these balls is drop them and just kick him along on the ground a bit. Like that. I'm gonna put him down and pick some leaf litter up at the same time. Sit, Charlie, sit. He likes this uh, broken tree branch here. Sit, sit. Go on in. Good lad. Good lad, good lad, go on. Yeah. Oh, good lad, good lad, good lad. Good lad, come in. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. I'm side on the wind here. So I want him to get on the ground scent. Good lad. Good lad. Yeah, good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. It's just in front of us here. Good lad. We'll go upwind a bit slightly. And then it's hard where it is. Anytime he's about to find it or near it. Good lad. Rizzy, Rizzy, Rizzy. Good boy. Good boy. I'll explain that again. Anytime he's near or about to pick it, I make the hunt whistle. So he starts to associate that with either about to find it or is finding it. Later, that's going to help me indicate when he's in the right area. So any opportunity I get to do my hunt whistle, which is a bit like a Chewbacca call, I reinforce that. I do it quite a lot at this stage, but later I'll wean him off it. So it literally, it's like one little blast, like that, and that will mean hunt. So if he's in a sat position already, sit, sit. You'll notice if I blow it, it makes him hunt. Ah, Charlie, Charlie. 
Come on. Good lad. Come on. Good lad. 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 Who is he? See, I knew it was coming on to that there. So that's why I started blowing the hunt, hunt whistle. Now, sometimes... Go on, get it, Charlie. Sit. Sit. Sometimes... Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. Sometimes you'll see him go up to sort of bite me. He's never seeing me put these retrieves down. If he did, he wouldn't hunt. But I sometimes use my hands to indicate. Other times I try and keep them out of the way not to distract him. There's a bit of a blend of those two things there, really. I'm going to move back again, Charlie, just so that I can hunt back towards the camera so you can see one more time. I'm hoping people are enjoying this. Sit, Charlie. Charlie. Go on in. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. See, I threw that high there over him. No. Good lad. Good lad. So again, you'll see me working hard all the time to try and keep the dog in front of me when the dog is moving around and not dropping around the back of me. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Where is he? Good lad. I'm going to try to stop now. Good lad. Good lad. It's going to come around the right side of this now. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Right, well, we're back. It's the following day from the rest of the video that you've already seen. And today I thought I would just film some basic mark retrieves that I'm doing. These are real simple. There is some structure in the way and I'm varying how long I take to send him. And he's quite an honest dog, so he does look at me a lot of the time. So often, as soon as he's marked it, if he looks at me, I send him straight away. Um, over time, I will build his marking ability something I've fixed in other dogs but he's very honest so he does look at me right here so I'm gonna throw him a tree look. what you'll notice here is I've got my little training line on which means that I can control what he's doing he's learning to walk to heel all the time good boy good boy and if he goes to run in it's minimal effort for me to stop him I have to chase him or rugby tackle him or anything like that I can just stop him with the lead. And eventually once the dog has been finished being trained, one day you just don't go out without the lead on and they just do everything the way you want to. So it really isn't a problem. Right, here, so I'm gonna throw him a retrieve. See, he didn't really watch the retrieve there, although he's run straight to it. So on this next one, I'm gonna make a bit more of a fuss and probably send him straight away. Picked up half the wood with you there though, Charlie, didn't you? Sit. <laughs> Wait. So as soon as he looked at it, then that's when I sent him. So if you notice at the moment, he's looking at me, not the retrieve. Sit. Wait. That was better. He looked at it all the time there. Lovely. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to make this retrieve a bit further back this time. So I'm actually going to do it as a partial memory. Here we go, sit. I'm going to chuck it out, same area. Didn't even watch it. Charlie, 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 Charlie. Sit. Good boy. Rick. He's a bit sure, I'm sure that time. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, well done. Good boy. One more like that and that'll do you, I think. Good boy, sit. There's not much wind today. Right. So you'll hear me a lot of the time now doing this brrr brrr sound. That is my hunt whistle and I'm starting to eject it into every time the dog is about to pick a retrieve. Right, let's go and speak to the camera, Charlie. Come on. Charlie, sit. So those were pretty basic retrieves, guys. But I've got a bit of structure in the way, so he has to navigate that. He's got to listen to what I'm telling him. He's got to look at me. Also, over time, I am going to get him to mark better. Although he's not missing the mark at the moment, but uh, it doesn't worry me too much. I'm used to that with other dogs. 
and as long as he handles well later on he'll get himself out of any problems hopefully so well done charlie good boy right guys i thought i'd do the competition winners from episode one of uh, charlie's vlog series so the winners are sarah lewis 1553 sarah lewis 1553 hit the clip car pangler 9689 I think you probably want some wrap sticks rather than a dummy, but that's absolutely fine. And also the final winner is Joanna Hilliard 3006. You guys, if you can go through to my Facebook page and send me a private message on there, I will sort you out with your prizes. Hopefully I'll do another competition in another week or two. Happy training guys.